Hello and welcome to the Oyster Regatta here in Parma. I'm Matt Sheehan and I'm going to be uh, on board Lush today. We started at the top, we started on the boss's boat, Richard Hadida, this beautiful 885. We've actually come out a little bit early because we've got a few things to try, not least of all, an absolutely brand new kite down here that's not yet been up. So we're going to go and sort that out and I guess we're going to sort out what this army of crew are going to do today as well. We'll see you later. So welcome on board Lush um, and to the Palma Regatta 2019. That's it. He's, okay, slowly coming up. Okay, coming up. More head sail now. Well, here she is, um, seven years young. Um, I, I, as far as I'm concerned, she feels brand new. I mean, she's, if you look around, I don't know if you videoed it, but she's absolutely gorgeous. And right now we're leading the field, so what more could I want? First race, first start, amazing. It's just fantastic. We came in there, we found the space on the line, just slowly coaxed her up to uh, her boat speed for the wind conditions, and we're now in a really strong position in the fleet, so it's uh, quite an exciting start. The refit has made everything very much swish and streamlined. We've got a new hull that's been painted, and so she's looking great on the water. And everyone who's gone on her through the boat shows and at the regatta nice. have loved nice. her. So we are very, very proud. And Richard did most of the interior and the spec and the design of it, and he's done a great job. I'm very proud of it. It's been a tricky race. Had to look at lots of different things. As the wind has changed, we've had to react as a crew, but overall, absolutely thrilled. Uh, we're second ov over the water, so we need to see what the handicap is uh, with the boat that was uh, ahead of us, but delighted with uh, the crew, the event, the Thanks, conditions. Guys. So yeah, rock and roll. First race, I reckon, could be a good one. Day one at the Oyster Regatta here in Palma turned out to be an absolute cracker. The breeze started with about six to eight knots, then built a little bit just as the forecast said. And those that have been looking at the forecast carefully were able to capitalise on that. So who did? Well, in class one, it was Guardian Angel, the 885 that uh, ran away with a win in class one. In class two, Amphora, the new Oyster 675, she stormed away from the rest of the fleet. Pacifica took the lead, she's an Oyster 575 in class three. That's a particularly hotly contested class because just about everybody by one boat is a 575. And in class four, it was Olanta, the Oyster 56, that won the day. So four very happy crews. Tomorrow's another day. We'll see you then. Okay, it's day two and it's time to change gear. No more racing around the cans, at least not for today. Today is all about a passage race from Palma round to Andrax. But the other big change today is the weather. For a start, we're wearing jackets. Why is that? Well, we've had quite a big sort of rain shower come across the island today. It actually had a little bit of lightning in it, quite a lot of rain, but more importantly, quite a lot of wind in it and wind coming out of the east. Now, that's all well and good at the moment, but the forecast is for that to drop quite considerably and switch possibly even through as much as 100 degrees. So tactically, it's going to be all on today because at the moment, whilst we've got some breeze, no one's quite sure how long this is going to last. It's going to be a tricky old day. We've switched classes as well. We're actually in class two today. We're on board the Oyster 675 Amphora and she was the boat that ran away with it in class two yesterday. I'm sure it was difficult for most, but then by the first mark, chaos. <laughs> we managed to get around, uh, as you saw, uh, in a, I think in a decent way. Uh, 
But then from there on, all the way out to the point, yeah, anybody's guess and luck, I would say, yeah. We've had rain showers, we've had the breeze shut down, we've had the breeze spin around, the fleet has turned inside out a few times. We just sneaked around this headland a little earlier on, now the breeze is shut down again. But we can see, tantalisingly, just out on the horizon, the breeze is starting to come in from the north. We're just trying to get there as quick as we can, but there's hardly any breeze. We can just start to feel the first signs of that coming through now. Hopefully, hopefully we're there. Yeah, I normally um, just sail it with my wife and kids. Uh, we took delivery end of May and uh, have done the Met and came down here and did the Met. And uh, this is the first race, yeah. Well, the breeze did eventually come in and what a different day it turned out to be. 15, 20 knots of breeze, upwind, big seas, but fantastic racing. The whole fleet now beating up around the uh, western side of the island. If only we'd had this right from the start, but there you go. The race started at that headland and it's certainly been pretty good. We're now probably about a mile or so away from the finish, just working our way in. What a day. That's fantastic. I mean, the whole event is fantastic. The boat is fantastic. The people we have on board, the crew here is fantastic. A great thanks to everybody, it's just great. The best fancy dress. So, the best fancy dress is actually a joint award. Um, it goes to uh, Miss Tiggy and Ruth too. So there's plenty of uh, smiling faces around this evening, but as I say, the prize giving is going on behind us right now. I've actually got a little preview, it's just been emailed to me on my phone here, there's a bit of cheering going on there, and uh, I can tell you who won today. And in class one, it was Guardian Angel, the big uh, 885 that stormed through the fleet. In class two, it was Blow, and I'm just reminding myself of uh, Blow, that's right, she's the 655, did very well actually. Class three, uh, Mastigo was uh, first in class three, and of course Mastigo is, according to my list, of course she's a 575. The whole of class three is 575, apart from one boat. And then in class four, the people who will be going home with the silverware tonight is Siona. That's who did well today. It was just an absolutely superb day. It looks like being a cracking evening. We'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, it's day three. Here we are, up at Andrax, on our way back down to Palmer for the passage race today. Very pleased to say we've got quite a lot of wind out here today, which is good news. And you join us aboard Mike Carney's boat with his crew on Siona, an Oyster 56. Lovely boat she is too. Only one slight concern I have today. Uh, I've been given the main sheet to trim. What's this all about? They gave me a handle. What do I do with this? I mean, how does it push the buttons? I'm not really sure. I guess we'll find out later. Hey, hi. Red Star, guys! Start all clear and the 10 minute attention signal for class 3. Okay, well we've had a long downwind leg down from Andrax down towards the Bay of Palmer. We've been going for about two hours, 40 minutes, something like that. Quite a lot of jibes down there. It's great fun surfing down some of the waves and flicking in jibes left, right and centre. And our two competitors, we just couldn't stay with them and uh, they just started to surge ahead. But now, they've just come round the penultimate mark and we're reaching in towards the finish and our competitors took their kites down thinking it was too tight. We decided to keep ours up and we have taken truckloads out of them at the moment. So I better concentrate because we're not that far from the finish. Okay. Oh, 
Incredible, just, uh, it's a very, class four is just such a tight, such a tight class now, so we're all nip and tuck, and even the slightest, the slightest thing gives you either an edge or just knocks you back, it's just incredible, so I'm breathless now, but that's an amazing race, fantastic wins, massive downwinds, loads of jibes, felt like we were laser there for a while, just packing, you know, jibing backwards and forwards, just stunning, and uh, Ostra, Outside, give a great run for our money, and uh, Olanta just ahead. We, we might, we might have got them on uh, on handicap. We don't know. We'll see. But I think, I think we might have a second. We might. So really, really pleased. Trim the jet, Genoa. In, in. Um, our normal sailing is my wife and I and uh, two children, uh, nine-year-old and eleven-year-old girls. So it's all. And this is our third year, our third season with this boat, and where I would class myself as a a novice, a real novice. So I've got my brothers and family and wives here, you know, on board. So we're not a professional crew. You know, we have one guy here helping us who knows the, the area, but uh, it's a family boat and we race it as a family. Um, so for us, for me, that's the most important thing that everybody's on board and we all have a bit of fun. And if we can win, that's even more fun, but uh, it's a family boat and we, we drive it like a family. So who did what? Well, in class four, it was Atlanta, the Oyster 53, that took honours again in that class. In class three, it was Irene 3, the Oyster 575, that was right up in the cho chocolates today and took the trophy. In class two, it was Blow, the 655. And in class one, it was Starry Night, the 82-footer. Now, she's one of the older boats in this fleet, and she's done pretty much every Oyster regatta there is. So there was a big cheer for her prize giving when they went up and won their trophy. So another great day on the water. Tomorrow is the last day. Of course, it all starts to get serious then. We'll see you in the morning. It's particularly interesting for us on board today because I'm on board Pantherassa and uh, she's a uh, 565 and there's a lot of attention focused on this boat because this is the newest and the latest boat out of the Oyster Shed. It's of the new generation and everybody's dying to see how she can perform. So far this week she's been pretty good so it really is quite an important day today in class three. Yeah, the boat's done only 3,000 miles. I think I've done 2,000 of those being on board. Um, I just find she's so, she's what I wanted. She's very comfortable for what I want to do. Uh, I've sailed her down the West Country on my own single-handed and had no problems doing that. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's, to me, as I've you know, said before, you know, it's the perfect size. It's, what I, it's the boat I want for my needs, for what I plan to do with her. rounded the first mark at the top of the beat in the lead, which is a good first step, obviously. Hoisted the kite, and it's a tight reach across the Bay of Palma into a little corner where there's a mark, we go around, and then we're gonna go back upwind. So at the moment, it's a bit of a drag race across here, but it's actually quite tricky because it's closer than we're expecting. So the crew are having to work fairly hard just to keep us on the ball, keep us on that lay line, make sure we don't sink too far below it. <laughs> Um, well, I'm not, I'm not a racing guy, I never have been. I'm a cruising guy, but um, I, uh, no, nothing that surprised me. It's great to, I've learned a lot, because watching people who, are, who do this for a living, um, you're picking up things all the time, so you, know, you certainly learn a lot during the course of a week. It's been, it's been good fun, really enjoyed it. minutes 2.47. We've got line on us, we're the first in the class to cross the line, that's tremendous uh, for this new boat, but on corrected time we don't think we're far enough ahead of the other boats. The interesting thing about it is though, it's very easy to get caught up in the racing environment in this uh, week-long regatta here in Palma, of course you do, it's a regatta after all, but at the end of the day these are not racing boats, these are blue water cruising boats designed to have long legs and to carry you long distances at speed and in safety. And in that respect, this new boat, the 565, has really proved herself because she's beaten 
the previous generation on the water pretty much every time. And that, from a company's point of view, and of course the designer's point of view, is a great thing. She is a fantastic boat. It's been a great week, really enjoyed it, and the boat's performed well against the 575s. And yeah, no, I'm very pleased with the way she's gone. Yeah. Christine, an amazing, amazing regatta. You know, it's just so tight, the class was just so tight, and the, the six boats, brilliant, just brilliant. For me, it's about the learning. The learnings, it makes you a better cruiser. A few races a year makes you a better cruiser. For me, I think. So, uh, and for the family, it brings us all together. So, and we'll have a great night tonight. We had a great night last night. Slow start this morning. But yeah, that's all. That's what it's all about. Lovely mix, the balance. But we had a hell of a good time. Well, it does look that way. You don't we had a look hell of a too getter. down in the mouth. Well, no, it doesn't matter. We've competed in the Oyster Regatta. What else do you want to do? <laughs> it's not all about winning, is it?